Hello Miniature and Train Modeling fans, this is Christian Milan again, and this time we're going to take a look at the Gold Rush Bay Old West Collection number 3, the Sheriff's Office. Now this is part 3, the first two parts, the first one was the Saloon or Grand Hotel, the second was the General Store, and this is the Sheriff's Office with the interior and the jail cell. Now what's different about this particular model is it looks very secure, it looks very hard to get into, a little bit more intimidating. And just as you approach it, you could definitely see how the wanted posters with their reward amount at the bottom kind of indicates that they are on the lookout for their suspects. And the opening there is uh, allowing you to put any picture you want. You could put yourself, you could put someone you don't like, you could put someone you do like, just as a little joke, but I definitely want it to be customized to however you want it to be. And these benches especially, you could seat any individuals here waiting to talk to the sheriff and you could put just you know bystanders you could put um, worrisome you know widows or whatever you want there and the detail at the front uh, is enough to have hinged doors here that you can open and close them and you could see just peek a bit into the interior just by looking at it right here but let's continue on the outside the top floor you could see with the, these posts and you, I wanted the balcony to be big enough where you can put the officer or sheriff or any other deputies up here to be on the lookout for any trouble brewing in town. Now these doors can also open to the second floor and you could close it if there's uh, a situation going on. You can open it uh, so you can see the sheriff and you can know that there's law with his eye on everything going on. And here you can see the texture word sheriff and also the badge star up here. Now the top has a nice little cornice here and I really like cornices so all my buildings will definitely have something like this going on. Now on the roof you could see that there's tiles here with a texture that you could paint and on the sides of the walls you could also see these wood planks with these nice expansive windows to see inside. Now I also made it so that you could slide off the shell to reveal the interior inside. So here's the interior of the jail cell or the sheriff's office. When the deputy brings his suspect into the office, he actually comes here. There'll be an officer stationed right here to greet them both and process the prisoner. And here, the suspect or prisoner would sit and be interrogated by the deputy. The sheriff would come in and provide support and they'd play good cop, bad cop right here. And the suspect, if convicted, would go into these jail cells right here. This nice file cabinet is here in case you need to pull up some files for evidence. And these jail cells are very secure. They are locked and hinged or they can be opened. And inside the jail cell there actually is a bed and an individual toilet. Now the floor of the office is actually individually planked and supported by these floorboards right here. They have gaps in them where you can fit lighting in through so you can modify the lighting as you see fit in your sheriff's office. There's also windows right here to provide natural light to the prisoners and these individual jail cells are very intricately designed and uh, secure enough to contain any prisoner. Now of course if you wanted to paint them you could within these gaps uh, stick a paintbrush in there and paint every side of this jail cell as you see fit. But like all my items for sale, this comes completely assembled, but all parts of it are accessible so you can paint however you want to go with the existing color scheme of your layout. Now this can be painted in any acrylic, and because it's white, you really don't need a base primer. I intentionally made it that way so it can give you the least amount of work to paint it as possible. Again, they all come assembled. All my buildings come assembled, so you don't have to do like, intricate glue work. And the paint, I recommend, does not need to be prepared with any kind of sanding or anything like that. The texture for these buildings are good enough to just be painted right onto. Now I hope you like the Sheriff's Office. It's gonna go really great with the next buildings coming up from the Old West Collection. You'll just have to keep tuned to find out what they are. But until then, thanks for watching and happy modeling.